Hello, Leo. Welcome to three guided messages. I was called upon to do these messages for everyone. Each zodiac sign, including Leo, where these are very important messages as we roll out of November into the month of December. The year of 2023 is going to be an incredible year where we can take leaps of faith. We can make things change, big, big, monumental changes. These are guided messages from the beings of light and love around me, the visions, the hearing, and the inner knowing. And I will use the tarot to show you and confirm whatever I'm being guided to share. Now, Leo, the first important message for you is the Page of Cups. You may have been through a lot of struggles in your life, as many Leos have, as many Zodiac signs have, where we've been hit over and over, breaking our heart. You've broken the chain that is allowing your openness, open mind, open heart, allows abundance and prosperity to come in. Taking a new path, one step at a time, and you're being guided to follow your heart in a balanced and a place of discernment to start this new empowered life. Now, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, possibly if we're looking at zodiac signs, but this is about love and relationships that led you to start over again, to see a new direction in a career path, in a life endeavor, where now you're feeling more in balance than ever before. The Empress is when we understand who to give to and how much to give. We can nurture ourselves and open our heart up, even if it's the page of cups, allowing the emotional cleansing to come through because you've got something incredible on the way. You are going to feel rejuvenated and re-energized if you have been feeling in a low vibration. The end of November rolling into December, the planets are shifting. And I will speak about that more on my blog post at my website. It's a free newsletter. Please subscribe if you choose. This is a beautiful moment for you to pull your power and use it in the direction that you want. Whether that's starting a new endeavor in a project, like I said, career, changing your educational skill set, growing and meshing with the air and the earth. You have the passion in you. You have the drive in you when you're in a high vibration. So if you have been feeling a lack of excitement in the world around you, the planets are shifting and they're going to bring that change in. So this is a moment for you to jump at this time. Big. And it will affect you for the next decade, if not longer. We're starting a new chapter where deception is no longer there. Where the people who hurt you, you have pulled the lessons from. You understand who you're dealing with. The Empress always knows. And if by chance the Empress encounters an excellent, let's just say a manipulator, excellent toxic manipulator that throws her out of balance, she will find the way to get back on track. Still in a place of love. In a place of being grounded and centered with grace and dignity. You have learned your lessons, so pull them forward. Leave what you do not want anymore behind. No matter what you've encountered, if it is holding you back in any way, this is your time to release it and move forward. Follow the energy of the planets as they shift. They're going to put you on this movement of upward and forward high vibrating energy. So let go of what does not work for you and make that change. The five of wands is a lot of conflict around you, inner conflict, maybe even wondering, is this actually true? The things that I'm sharing with you, the guided messages come through me. I don't make them up. The cards follow the messages. So there's got to be something there. There's something or somebody around you who has been really putting a lot of pressure on you, who has been creating inner turmoil. But again, you can already see it. You already know what I'm talking about. This may be that big push to walk away. You may be walking into a place 
of a new beginning that you know is going to have a lot of competition. And there will be because life is created in a competitive way, socialized. The thinking, the processes that we use. So this is being in a high competition, but also having to let go of any self-sabotage energy and flow with the universal positive energy. Making a shift from coming out of anger, narrow-mindedness, uh, any form of judgment that is coming from you or others around you. You're going to make a shift. And if you don't, the universe is going to do it for you. Changes are coming, whether we make the time, if we take the risk, if we have action, it's coming. So pay very close attention to the way you think. And remember, negative thinking creates negative results. But equally, we have to do our physical part in that as well. And you are a person who loves excitement and adventure. This is going to be something very exciting for you. So flow with the universal energy. The Nine of Swords, and this is a lot of conflict, okay? This is anxiety, stress. Did I make the right decision? Am I doing the right thing? Oh my gosh, you know, I'm starting a new chapter of my life. What does that mean? I don't want to go backwards. That's thinking right there. I don't want to go backwards is a low vibrating thought. Substitute the low vibrating thinking and know and have faith. Give it up to the higher self within you. Give it up to the higher power. And say, I can sleep tonight. I will wake up feeling refreshed and good. Take a deep breath in and blow it out. And watch what happens. You will literally sleep through the night if you believe what you're saying. What we think is how we feel inside. That creates the bonding between us and the spiritual world. When we speak it, using the swords is talking about communication. When we speak it, it creates a bonding here on earth. Through that speaking, we can create telepathic communications where people pick up our vibrations without us even knowing it. We wear our feelings, our, our inner thinking, we wear it on our clothes. We wear it from inside, but it radiates out through auras, through colors, through our energy vibration. Believe in you because something amazing is getting ready to come through. And, and I'm telling you guys, Leo, you've been through a lot. I feel a lot of underlying anger. So this was deep, intentional, in, intense uh, experiences that you've had, which have kept you up night after night. But allow the change to come in. So we have the Prince of Cups, and the Prince of Cups is saying you've got something brand new, and it has to do with opening up your heart. Anger creates negativity and that blocks our heart, that blocks abundance. It blocks prosperity from coming in. So Leo, this is your moment to actually believe in yourself and overcome what you've been through and overcome the negative thinking that you may have had. Self-sabotage energy, am I good enough? Yes, you are. Can I do this? Yes, you can. But everything is based on what you think and feel about yourself. Open your heart and move into a new level of existence. You have the Page of Cups as the first message. Now it's time for you to see the dreams around you and turn them into a reality. If you have a project you've been working on, this is the time for you to get it into the world. That can be a baby step. Okay, of getting a website, of starting the business, of creating a partnership. The heart and the soul are already there. Now it's up to you to take direction forward and overcome anything that's been conquering you because you can. You actually can. The Five of Wands is here again. You may have been dealing with a lot of people that really create a lot of confusion. Sabotaging energy a feeling of competition, family members, friends, co-workers, everybody trying to 
get a little bit more up on you, dominating you, creating that self-sabotage energy. It's time for you to follow the flow. You have fives all around you. You have this energy of the past is leaving because communication is coming through when it comes to a situation with a family member, a romantic situation, a co-worker, somebody that you held in uh, a place of love within. You trusted them. This is positive back and forth communication for some of you where it's going to allow you to uh, open up that heart and let the old kind of just like ooze out. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing is like ooze out, like they popped it and it's just kind of trickling right out. This communication is going to bring in a new beginning for you, one that you are going to fall in love with, one that you are going to love, and it's going to change your perception of reality. It's going to pull the bitterness out of you. It's going to pull the love in you. And if you're already there, it's going to rise you in an even higher position. The universe is here to guide you. And again, they want you to follow the energy flow. Make the changes. Step in that boat. Relocate if it feels right for you. If you need to get away from people that have been hurting you, okay, it's time for you to get in the boat in a secretive way. Do not share it. Make the plans. Do the research and move forward. Get the new job. Find the new project, the new hobby. If somebody stole your thunder, it's time to move forward. But they're saying be aware of what you're dealing with. This energy flow is your time to get in the vehicle, whether that's by boat or car or online, but get in the vehicle because something very, very positive is en route to you. So I hope this helps the sun, moon, and rising sign of Leo. Please thumbs up this video and have a wonderful end of the year. Much love.